one of the questions I had is we spend most of our time being reactive. And right. and obviously and obviously um you know it, it it becomes just it becomes this this negative mass that we continually drag around. Right. So so maybe you could share with the audience uh some of the things that you've learned about how to respond to that and and turn it around. Yeah, I appreciate that because at the core of what being intentional is all about is the distinction between being reactive, being responsive, and being intentional. And I, I want to take a step back for a second and um, talk about definitions for a minute because I'm a fanatic about people understanding the definitions of the terms that they use or the actions that they're that they're trying to uh, to implement because so many problems between individuals or uh, in relationships come because we may be talking about the same thing using the same words, but our definitions of those words are so different that that's really what we're arguing about. We're not really arguing about the issue itself. Um, right. And I say that because a lot of people use reaction and response synonymously. They think that's the same thing. And so let me give you what my definition is of those two words and then give you some examples of it and how we can apply that in our own lives, both personally and and business-wise. So a reaction by definition is an action that you and I take based on an outside stimulus, based on something that happens to us. And the action that we take is out of control. Now, a lot of people don't think that when they're reactive, they're out of control. But if you think of certain situations that we find ourselves in, when something happens to us and we immediately think and feel a certain way, that's called a reaction. And there's not a lot of thought into it. It's an immediate sort of um, attempt to deal with whatever situation that we're dealing with. And we don't realize until afterwards that we dealt with it in a reactive, out-of-control way. And what I ask people a lot of times is, have you ever done or said something that you kicked yourself later for doing or saying? Oh, yeah. Of course, we've been there, right? Um, yeah. and, and when we look at the situation, what we, what we sort of see after the fact is that we reacted to a situation, we weren't fully in control of ourselves in the way that we dealt with it, and then we found ourselves kicking ourselves later because we thought of what we should have done in that situation. Does that make sense? You probably relate to that, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, so, so that's reactive, and the, the opposite of that, the difference or distinction to be made is to be responsive. So the definition of being responsive is that it's an action that you and I take based on outside stimulus, based on something that happened to us, and that action that we take is in control. So the way the science of the mind works, the way that the mind processes things, something happens it creates, whether we're conscious of, about this or not, it creates a thought about that situation. That thought creates a feeling, and the feeling creates the action. Now, so, for example, if um, we're driving down the road and somebody cuts us off, and our immediate thought is, you son of a gun, blah, 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 and, you know, we start yelling out the window or waving with less than all of our fingers, um, when we do something like that, the thought is negative about what just happened. It creates this feeling of anger or disgust or whatever the feeling is. And then we take this action, and the action that we take is out of control. And the situation that we're in, whether we realize it or not, for as long as we allow it, that situation and that person's in control of us. But Right. If we turn that around and that same situation happens and we realize that the immediate thing that happens is we have a thought about it, that thought creates a feeling and the feeling creates an action, and we stop 
and create a different thought. That different thought creates a different feeling, and our action then goes based on that new feeling. So because we've changed our thought, what action that we took is now responding to the situation, and we are in control. 